guys, it's Megan with Grim Planner and I have for you today a plan with me. Um, this is for this past week, the week of Thanksgiving. Um, I have already laid the base down as you can see and this is um, the Gwen kit from Let's Plan It. I um, wasn't really planning on doing any kind of special Thanksgiving type kits. I you know, there were a ton out, a lot of those like Thanksgiving spreads, that more scene type thing. And I didn't really want to do that. So, um, when I saw her Gwen kit come out, I was like, well, that's perfect. It's much more simplified. Um, not so like in your face, I guess. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but that is just one of those things that I so love about Let's Planet, uh, kits. So yeah, Week of Thanksgiving, let's go ahead and jump into this. I've kind of started prepping um, for this week and then I just didn't wanna do that anymore. So like I started, like I said, prepping. For the most part, I decided to go foil free. Okay, 100% I decided to go foil free on this kit. And I want to use as much um, LPI as I can because I have a ton of her stickers. And then I'm also pulling in um, these freebies that I had gotten from Papershire when I placed my order. I just think this might be really good to kind of add and do a little something extra with this spread. Um, and I think that will go really well. And I've got some Peachy Plan scripts that I'm going to be using. Um, I know at least that Imagine Life one, that might be the only one I'm using this week along with Kinsey's Creations. Um, oh, I might use that pole class one. These I just, um, I filmed a haul this weekend, my November haul, which um, is already up. So if you haven't seen that, please check that out. And, um, now I'm like, can finally jump in and start using these things. I'm so excited. All right, guys, so I switched over to voiceover now and I'm gonna go ahead and start chatting us through this. I had to grab my planner to make sure I could follow along with what's going on. So Monday morning, like most of my mornings, um, was just, I usually start my mornings with coffee and listening to some, um, like an episode of a podcast or sometimes I'll just listen to an audible book. Um, so that's usually how my mornings start off. I like to take it pretty slowly in the mornings if I can. Um, and this week of Thanksgiving was kind of like a really quiet week for us, which I greatly appreciated. Um, I did have to get some work stuff done, but other than that, I wasn't planning on doing too much. I decided to give the dogs a bath that day because it was finally warm enough. Um where I could like bathe them and then if I needed it, like usually I'd wash them and then I'd put them outside immediately. And it was warm enough for me to do that without them being like freezing out there. Um, Zelda is not a big fan of it. Although both of them are really good. They jump into the tub, no problem. And then Sophie, who used to be terrified of them, she, like ever since we've put in a detachable shower head, she loves it. She has no problem getting in the bathtub. And then it was just laundry for that day. Um, I took a nap and then I was, excuse me, trying to decide what to do for dinner that week. And it was hard because we had two Thanksgivings. So I'm like, I'm really not, really not sure what we're going to do. So I found a casserole. I was like, let me just make something that we can have leftovers with. Um, and I asked my husband, I was like, do you want to go grocery shopping with me? And he's like, yeah, that's fine. So we went together. Um, he's been having like a really stressful time at work. It's typically pretty stressful around this time of year towards like in the last quarter. Um, you know, so many of his clients are trying to like get through the, um, through the last quarter, you know, under budget or at budget. A lot of people don't want to roll over to the new year, but that doesn't typically happen for them. Um, so yeah, so we left the house. He left work early that day so that we could left work. And by that, I mean, he like walked up from the, he closed his laptop and walked up from the basement, um, so that we could go, go grocery shopping, which I always love because if I go grocery shop, grocery shopping by myself, I'm probably going to spend 
more money than I need to be spending. Although he's so cute. I was like, are you on your period, honey? Because he was like, any chocolate? <laughs> he bought ice cream and chocolate. <laughs> he was raised by, uh, like, his mom, his sister, and his grandmother were, like, the three most prominent people in his life growing up. So, um, and his grandfather, but they're overrun by the women. So he's, like, he loves chocolate. That's when he's having a hard day, it's chocolate. So I think that's, I think that's adorable. Um, so I made a chicken and dumpling casserole, which actually was really good. I was pretty impressed by it. Um, and that was pretty much it for Monday. Monday was a pretty quiet day for me. And then on Tuesday, I listened to the new episode of Detective Trap. I am using these, um, most of the scripts, not most, some of the scripts in here are from, uh, Peachy Plans. So the Imagine Life, the Detective Trap, those are from Peachy Plans. And then I pulled in just some scripts that are just a part of, um, a part of the kit from Let's Plan It. I am putting down this little, uh, little three, three check box. You know, I don't tend to use a lot of the check, bo check boxes. Um, but I went ahead and busted one out because I did some, I filmed the plan with me for the week before this. And then I did get it edited, and then I did my voiceover. I did all of that that day. Um, and that, I'm, so being pretty new to this whole world of planning, and then on top of that, doing YouTube videos for it, um, I can't believe how much time it takes. <laughs> like, especially when it comes to, it's not even the editing, because I try to keep things pretty, like, succinct while I'm doing it. And, like, last weekend, the the weekend of this week that I'm planning, I filmed a haul three times. Each time I was like, nope, it was, I'm too wordy, it's too long, I don't want it to be that long of a haul. Um, so I refilmed it until I could cut it down because I don't like editing. Editing is not fun to me. Um, so... I have, I put in that checklist because I was doing all that. I'm like, dang, that took a lot of time. And then I took a nap. You guys know that I am such a napper. And then I had to go to pole class that night. Um, and then I'm using, I went through this, of course, in the opening, but these little stickers that I pulled in from Paper Shire. I, I just love the way this kit turned out. I will probably, I'm certain in my little outro kind of thing. I say the same thing. I just loved it. I loved pulling in all these fun little stickers from Paper Shire. I think it just added something really nice. Um, I feel like I have a lot more white space in here than I usually do, and it could just be the week that I had. Um, just the fact that I um, just had a really quiet week with the holidays and stuff like that. We are not Black Friday shoppers, so I didn't leave the house to do any shopping on Friday. I didn't leave the house at all on Friday, um, which I just love. Um... But then Wednesday I got up and I had to get going on some things. I took a shower um, and then I, while I was like getting myself ready and having my coffee and stuff, I was working on uploading last week's plan with me. Um, and I had to do, I had to run out. I sold something on the Glam Planner by Sell Trade. So I needed to get that over to the post office so I could get that mailed out to the girl who purchased it. And I was going to run to like our like, I, I live between, like, two different grocery stores. One is, like, a smaller local-type grocery store and then the bigger grocery store at the other end. Um, and I was going to run down there because I wanted something that I could um, put. Like, my parents had this when I was younger, and I don't know where I would find it. I would assume at the store, but I don't know. Um, that you have, like like, some kind of, like, ceramic or stone plate that you can put in the oven and heat it up and then it stays nice and hot and you put that in a carrier and then you put the food that you have made to keep it hot on there you know I was looking for something like that because I was like well I have to make I was making mac and cheese for Thanksgiving which I have never heard of eating mac and cheese with Thanksgiving like ever um but then I was in one of my poll classes the first week of um the session um, when we were introducing ourselves, um, my instructor was like, all right, tell me your name and your favorite 
your favorite dish for Thanksgiving? And everybody's like, mac and cheese. And I was like, I have never heard of mac and cheese at Thanksgiving. Um, so I'm like, I'm going to make mac and cheese. I don't know why I'm so ambitious. It's really not my style of doing things. <laughs> I was like, my sister-in-law makes a killer baked mac and cheese, but she was taking care of like the mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes and deviled eggs. And I'm just like, I, so I said I would make mac and cheese and, um, like two days before I was like, is anybody bringing corn? Can I just do like, get a couple bags of frozen corn and just call that my, my, uh, way of participating in the dinner. <laughs> They're like, you can do whatever you want, Meg. But my sister was like, no, I really, really want mac and cheese. So I'm like, fine. But then I was trying to find a mac and cheese recipe. So I wanted one that I could like, you know, throw in the crock pot and forget about it but I couldn't find anything that wasn't like you make all the components separately and it might just be that this doesn't exist like that a crock pot doesn't get hot enough to like melt I don't know but um it has to because it has to be hot enough to cook meat I don't know so everything was like you prepare it all here and then you stick it in the crock pot and I'm just like that's just dirty more dishes than I want to be dirty like that was the point of the crock pot and that it would stay nice and warm even when it was unplugged and whatever so I went and got, um, a, like a disposable aluminum pan and I had to, I ended up doubling the recipe to make it because we had like 17 people at my family Thanksgiving, which was Wednesday night and I've clearly moved on to Thursday now. So speed it up, Megan. Um, but I made it, it was a hot damn mess in my kitchen I am one of those people who, when they cook, they use every dish available to them in the kitchen. <laughs> like, that's just my style. Um, so, I am blanking, sorry. Um, so, yeah. So, I made this. I brought it. It stayed warm enough. Like, I, I got all the, the pasta, like, just before it was al dente. And then I made the cheat sauce and I poured it over, but then I just stuck it all on the thing and I didn't bake it until I got down there. And mac and cheese is just, when it starts cooling, it's not as good. And so everybody else said they really liked it. I mean, I didn't bring any leftovers home. There were leftovers, but everybody's like, no, I'll just take some home. And I was like, that's fine by me. I ate it. I wasn't crazy about it. I think it would have been better if it had been fresh, but I just didn't want to have to deal with making all of it down at my parents' house. Um... So, and then I realized like three days later that I'd forgotten like one entire component. I had um, half and half that I never actually put in. So I was like, maybe that would have made a difference, but I don't know if it would have. I had milk. It just didn't have the half and half. So then on Thursday, which was Thanksgiving, um, the past several years, we haven't done anything. I mean, it's been a long time, I think, since I've done anything on actual Thanksgiving day. Um, because my big, my family does it on Wednesday. And, um, but my husband's, uh, dad and stepmom invited us over and it was just the four of us. And then their son's, one of their son's friends who was staying with them, their son had to work and their daughter and her fiance were at, um, her fiance's families for Thanksgiving. And it just was really nice. And it was quiet because it had been absolutely insane. There were, I think like 17 people. It was my brother, his wife and their six kids my sister, my aunt and his girlfriend, my cousin and her boyfriend, and then my family, which is and then my mom and I and my husband and myself or my dad. And I think there were like 17 or something people there. It was a madhouse. Um, so I was so excited to have, to be able to enjoy Thanksgiving and have a Thanksgiving meal on Thanksgiving, but in a much more quiet, calm, relaxed atmosphere. I got to, we got to my in-laws and I was so tired. And so I sat on the couch and my mother-in-law brought me a blanket and just covered me up. And she's like, don't worry about doing anything. You just relax. And, you know, because my life is so stressful. Um, my husband was bringing me like cheese and crackers every now and then and just feeding <laughs> me cheese and crackers. And I was just, I was living the best life I had right then and there. Um, and so that was, it was just nice. It was so relaxing. It was so quiet. We just watched the lions lose, um, and whatnot. And then of course the brothers Osborne, if you're watching the lions game, the like power cut off, like right at the beginning of their set, which was really funny to watch. 
Um, and then I came home, and despite being so tired and falling asleep up there, I was wide awake, like absolutely wide awake until probably like two o'clock in the morning is when I was finally like, yep, I need to go to bed. Um, so then Friday morning, I just slept in and got up and had coffee and leftover pumpkin cheesecake because that's the dessert that we brought up for Thanksgiving at the in-laws. And I was just so excited to have that. Like, I never have dessert for breakfast, so it's just really exciting when I get to. And then I spent pretty much all day watching the clock until certain shops, their Black Friday sales would be live. Like, so much time. I, if you or if you follow me on Instagram, you would see and I posted not one, but two lists of Black Friday shopping that I was checking out. Um, I didn't buy from all of them. But I'm like, this is the one I want to keep an eye on. This is the one I want to keep an eye on. And then, like, leading up to this Friday, I was like, all right, when are all of these sales going live? Like, let's plan it. They went live at midnight Eastern. I think it was 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time where they are located. Um, so it was midnight here. And I was like, I am not missing out on that. Although I like, had pre, like, filled my cart, completely forgot a kit, completely forgot one of the kits. I just bought it today on Monday, um, before the sales were up, so, and then I was listening to Thursday's episode of My Favorite Murder, and, um, it was so weird, because I started listening to it, and in the middle, it just, like, stopped, and I, like, like my whole podcast app just like suddenly crashed and I'm like what the heck is going on so I went back opened it and suddenly that episode's not there anymore and I was like what the hell just happened like I thought there was like some glitch well then they posted a, like a new one and some people were saying that it might have been like one of the stories they told or um a hometown murder story was like a current one that is still like in the courts and so you know for whatever purposes they had to take it down and then Friday night was the first night I filmed my haul uh I don't put that I filmed hauls every single night um I was finally happy on Sunday because we got a bunch of snow on Sunday and just having that natural lighting and then my lights on my desk I it just looked so much better than it had been looking and then it was Puzzle and Scandal. I've watched Scandal so many times already, but in 2020, I have a goal to only watch shows I've never seen before, and I like the comfort of shows that I've already watched because I can just relax um, and not pay that close of attention to them. So shows that I've like been itching to rewatch lately, I am rewatching now. So that's what I did on Friday night. And then uh, Saturday morning, we got ourselves out. And there was a European style like Christmas market out in Holland. Um, and so I was like, let's get ourselves ready and let's drive out there and we can have lunch at New Holland Brewing Company, which is for, so I live in West Michigan, um, near around the Brew City USA. I think like two years in a row. It's not a thing anymore. I don't think they have this like contest anymore, but. West Michigan's not letting it go. <laughs> They're just not letting it go. Um, so for breweries, I don't drink beer, but they have probably the best food for any and all breweries around the town that I've been to and tried their food. They have they have this primo pesto um, chicken pizza, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So we were there. Um, we went and had lunch first before we went shopping, and my husband's like, do you want to like split one? And I'm like, no, friend. No, no, I want my own, and then I'll have leftovers. Um, so we had pizzas, and then we went to this little outdoor market, this, like, um, like I said, it was, like, a European-style market, which it really reminded me they had these, like, little shops, like, pop-up shops that had been built, so they have, like, a nice little indoor kind of, like, they can be behind, like, the people. It's not just, like, a normal tent and tables. They're, like, actual little buildings. Um, and so it did remind me when we were in, I think it was Stockholm, um, by the ports, they would have these little, of course, market type things set up selling all their like touristy wares. And, um, I'm like, it really does remind me a lot about that. I thought it would be more like the, I think it's like the Christmas, German Christmas market in Chicago 
where it would be more European style stuff. And it definitely wasn't. And my husband and I were laughing because there was a Michigan State um, ornament that just had like the Michigan State S on it and the colors. And I was like, we can get that and pretend it's from St. Petersburg. <laughs> I was like, I'm certain we can pass that off. And um, so we were cracking up laughing and talking to the shop owners about our trip and stuff like that. Because one woman said St. Petersburg is her dream place to go. And then um, I had ripped that shopping sticker because I was so careless taking it off. But I had to like kind of place it back together. And then we came home and I had like, as soon as we were done shopping, I had like an instant headache. Um, so we were going to go and stop at T-Mobile and look at phones because we we're due for an upgrade. And I have, I couldn't decide between the 11 and the 11 pro. Um, but we ended up, I'm like, you know what? I really don't want to go. The road over there is going to be absolute insanity. Um, so let's just go home because I just don't want to deal with the holiday shoppers during this weekend. We ended up just ordering them online. Although I am super mad because the 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max for Apple have that, like, dark forest type green. But then the 11s are all, like, you have, like, a sea foam and a red. And I'm, like, I, I just don't like those. Like, I don't like overly bold colors. So I just got the black, my husband got red, and then I um, ordered a dark like turquoise, a dark teal case to go over it. Um, I always use Caseology. They're my favorite cases for my phones. So I placed an order for that yesterday online. Um, then like I said, got home and took a nap and I used these cute little pillow, smiley face pillows, sleepy face pillows from Papershire. And then again, that night was just scandal and puzzles because I busted out some new puzzles. And then Sunday morning, I cut um, part of the deco, one of the decos from this kit in half just to add like a little something extra to the spread. And I put the little snow sticker because we got a bunch of snow. Um, and then, but first coffee. So it was just nice. I made myself like a latte with my Ninja coffee maker. And I just sat on the couch and enjoyed the snow. And then I did get some work done. That day, I actually did not put that in there. I just realized I never put that I worked. Um, I got calendars filled for that day. And then um, I edited and uploaded in that haul. It took all flipping day, like all day to upload. Um, and it's under an hour. But I have discovered that if I'm trying to upload it while also doing other things on my computer, it takes a long time, so I'm going to try to use that to convince my husband to let me get a separate, a second laptop. He won't. I know he won't, but a girl can dare to dream. And then um, I, f I filmed this plan with me that I am now currently doing the voiceover for. And then I organized stickers from my haul, my November haul. Um, and then that night we had steak and potatoes for dinner. I... Um, I'm so excited and I'm going to get cut off here from this voiceover part in a second, but I'm so excited. I did so much damage for Black Friday and Small Business Saturday and I'm really looking forward to doing that haul for you guys. I'm pretty certain it's going to have to be in like two parts, if not more. Um, maybe I'll do them like depending on, maybe like I'll do mini hauls like week after week as they start rolling and we'll see what happens. But yeah, so that was my week. And now we're going to go back into doing the live version of this. All right, guys, here we are. We're back to live. And this is the completed spread. Let me kind of clean up my desk and move shit around so you guys can see everything. I love this spread. I can't believe how well it turned out. I love it. I, I love not using the foil too. I mean, sometimes foil is just like, yes, all that glitz and glitter. And at one time I didn't like it and now I love it. And I love to, like, I can't wait, you know, in the future to open up this and just um, have fun flipping through it. But this is just simple and I don't feel like it's too, like, the glitter and the foil is just like grabbing my eye. I just think it's perfect. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I'm so glad I pulled in all these little paper shires. I think they were perfect because it was kind of a really slow week for me in terms of like doing stuff. Um, 
even for my husband, like he didn't work on Friday. He barely worked on Wednesday. I think he had a couple of meetings, but it was nice to just kind of um, be able to use that to fill in more space. Um, and yeah, and I thought that was fun. We got um, a good snow today. It's been a while since it snowed here. So I was happy to pull in that little paper shire snow sticker. And yeah, I think that is all I have for you guys today. Um, be sure if you can to go ahead and subscribe if you want to be alerted to when I've got new videos coming up. And if you'd like, please follow me on Instagram at Grim Planner for, you know, I usually do more up close spread, like of my spreads and um, whatnot and just little things here and there. So please feel free to follow me on Instagram. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. All right. Have a good one, guys. Bye.